hello you guys what is up welcome back to my channel this is day two of my 12 days of fitness um for today's video i'm gonna take you through maybe a workout i haven't decided yet i'm gonna warm up and see how i feel we went to vegas for a week to spend thanksgiving with my best friend and then we haven't worked out all this week since we came back we've kind of just been chilling which is nice um after being on vacation and we were like hiking and all that on vacation and so just gonna stretch see how i feel if i feel good i'm gonna do a workout but go really light but if not i'm just gonna warm up and probably do like um some low intensity cardio on the bike or the elliptical i haven't decided yet um sir mind your business you see them walking by staring so hard <laughs> no i didn't anyways so yeah Sorry. one of those i don't know can't decide yet we'll see once i get inside and i stretch and warm up and see how my body feels and then i'm gonna sit down and chat with you guys and we're gonna talk about finding and choosing the right workout style for you and how to go about making that decision so before we get started make sure that you give this video a thumbs up because it's gonna be a good one and that you subscribe to my channel if you are not already and yeah i will see you guys in the gym Some days I don't hit, I don't sleep. When I'm focused, I'm dangerous. Down, wonder when I'm anxious. Ain't no limit till I tank. I'm running on fumes. The opposition don't amaze. The roads switching through the pavement. Get your hands out of my bag. I know that's because I've been in it. I don't need to brag. I guess that's what happens when you taking care of your business. Bust a friend and you do the math. I'm out of my pocket. Houston, we got a problem. I ain't perfect. Let them watch me. Elevating, got them noxious. Cause I'm the pilot in the cockpit. No, diving in the house. And woo. Watch how I get ahead. Watch how I get ahead. Watch how I get ahead. Woo. Watch how I set it up. Bet you I shut it down. Watch how I get away. I really wanna come, I guess the one got a finger run up and on a grenade <laughs> I ain't never been there when you think you can pay I'm alive but the one about the cage I need all the wins, yeah Ain't no L's, I gotta get it, no call and quits, yeah Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets, yeah Better move out the way cause I'm coming with hard it hits My head is as hard as a brick but I'm harder than all it is You, better move, you might get knocked out so now that we've worked out i just want to sit and chat and talk about um how to really find a workout style that you enjoy i'm gonna try not to ramble and make this super long so i'm just gonna stick to five different tips that can apply to everyone on how to find a workout style that you enjoy um i'm looking at my phone because i took notes so that i don't ramble but um let's just go ahead and get into it so the first tip I would say to finding a workout style that you enjoy is if you are someone who feels like you have to work out because of this like negative connotation um, on how you like how you feel about yourself, try and change your beliefs about working out. So you can never enjoy working out or just enjoy exercise period or anything for that matter if it always has this negative association with it so um for example like most of us well i won't say most of us but um elementary school loved pe middle school and high school i fucking hated it and that's because of the experiences that i had but if i were to carry those experiences with me all the time i'd never enjoy working out um 
and thankfully for me that's not the case I loved working out um, in middle school uh, in high school even in college because I competed in track in college if I didn't change my beliefs about how I had negative experiences in middle school I would never enjoy working out so my point to that is to say change your beliefs about how you feel about working out or about what you've told so that you can go into creating a healthy lifestyle and finding a workout style that you enjoy um, without anything negative clouding over it. So that's my tip number one. Tip number two, adjust your focus. Um, for a really long time when I was working out, it was because I felt like I was like a chunky kid um, or I did sports because I didn't want to be at home and when I was in college literally while I loved running track um, I did it because I didn't want to be depressed and it was the only thing that made me feel better about myself at that time so um, you have to adjust your focus. Usually when people go into working out, it's because they want to look good or they want to not even just look good, but yeah, I guess, you know what, look good. So people go into it for aesthetic reasons. Some people go into it for weight loss. Some people go into it for um, wanting to gain weight. And sometimes that can be really toxic when you're trying to find a workout style that you enjoy. So I think it's really important to try not to focus on one thing of course have a plan make a smart goal but don't let that be the only thing that keeps you motivated because it could also be detrimental for some people so i would say making sure that you focus on not even the right things but just focus on a variety of things so focus on not just weight loss but what's going to get you there so maybe you are feeling really fatigued focus on knowing that workout can help give you energy, um, improving your life, and also just finding balance in your life. So don't just tie it to one thing, because like I said, sometimes it can be detrimental. Um, so tip two, in case anyone missed it, is adjusting your focus. And then tip three, finding the right type of workout um, can definitely make a difference. So and I'm not necessarily speaking for myself, but sometimes when people get into working out, they think like doing cardio is the only way that you can lose weight. Some people think that if you lift weights, it's gonna make you bulky and make you look like a man when you're a woman. And that's not the case. Um, it's really important to find what you like to do. If you know you don't like cardio, if you try to go to the gym every day and do an hour on the, car on the treadmill, it's not going to be sustainable. You're not going to enjoy it. Maybe if you're someone who doesn't like cardio, start by going on a walk. Um, if you're someone who feels intimidated by weightlifting, don't go into the gym and try and force yourself to just use whatever. Um, find a plan or find someone who might be willing to help you so that you can learn what to do, how to use it, baby steps, start with dumbbells, something small not even just something period but start with something small so that you can start to work your way up to it if you feel intimidated um there are so many different workout styles that there that there there are so many different workout styles that you can try out and i think actually what i'll do i found this great article that explains so many different workout styles in depth i think i'm going to link it below so that you guys can check it out um but it goes through the different types of workouts workout style so from cardio to stretching and mobility to strength training um and it breaks it down a lot so if you're someone who's new and you're beginning i'm gonna leave that article below because i just think it's a great article to explain those things but definitely finding the right type of workout um and how to enjoy the exercise that you're doing is what's gonna make it sustainable long term and then number four making sure that, you know you have the energy to work out it's really easy to get burnt out working out especially if you're not feeling your body with the right type of foods um again i'm not an expert while i am certified in nutrition i am not a registered dietitian and i do not want to give anyone nutritional advice so i would encourage you to 
um, one, do your own research, or two, if you have the means to chat with the registered dietitian to make sure that whatever type of workout style that you choose or exercise that you choose, you're fueling your body with the right foods to be able to do a workout style or exercise that is sustainable long term. Just going to leave that one um, at that because like I said, I'm not an expert. I don't feel like I don't feel comfortable talking about those things. But yeah, we're just going to leave that one as is. So for number five, um, this tip is creating time to work out. You can't really learn to enjoy exercise or really anything that you're doing for that matter if you always feel like you're rushing to do it or that you're sacrificing other things that are important for you to do it. So if you're new to working out, or even if you're not, make a plan, use your planner, calendar, whatever helps you remember and Google that time in. So for example, I know most of the time I'm always gonna work out after work or before work if it's a day that I'm off and I want to give myself a two window a two hour window to be able to do that so maybe you know you can only work out on certain days that's great only work out on those certain days don't feel like you have to force it if you don't have the time to do it and if you're really passionate about it you'll make time to do it so that's my last tip for finding a workout style that you enjoy. I didn't want to talk too much. If you guys want a video where I go in depth about all the different type of workout styles that there are by category, so by what I mentioned earlier with cardio, strength training, stretching and mobility, let me know. I would definitely be down to do that, um, but I don't want to make this video too long. So I appreciate you guys so much for watching make sure that you give this video a thumbs up turn on the notification bell that also make sure that you come back tomorrow because i'm going to be taking you guys through a dynamic squat day routine so yep i will see you guys in the next video peace